What's up boys and girls, Muzzafuzza here and we're playing the Diablo 3 beta once again. As you can see, I'm on my level 13 Barbarian doing some leap attacks, doing some ground stomps, and uh, today we're going to be doing a guide for all the passive skills for the Barbarian. I already did a guide for the active skills for a Barbarian, and uh, for each of the individual five classes in this game, I will be doing a guide for both the active and the passive skills. So let's head on over to our Nephalem Altar which is where you change your skills in this game. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four active skills out of six that you can unlock. I'm not quite level 18 or 24, so I don't have six active skills. And then down here at the bottom, you've got your passive skills, which I've only got one unlocked because I am uh, only level 13. And you get your first one at level 10, your second at level 20, and your third at level 30 for a total of three passive skills, six active skills when you're all the way leveled up. But uh, today I want to do a guide for all the passive skills in this game. If you open up this menu, you can see that he's got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 total passive skills for the Barbarian. Uh, the number will change for each individual class that you use in the game. But uh, we're going to be going over all the passives for the Barbarian today in order. We're going to be talking about uh, the pros and cons, which ones I think I'm going to use, and... Uh, even the ones that I can't quite use in the beta yet because you can only get to level 13 in the beta. So let's get into it. Alright, so this might seem pretty obvious, but uh, some of you guys might be noobs. Some of you guys might be scrubby dubby dubkins. And uh, I'll just explain it just in case you guys don't know. The difference between active skills, which are the ones up here, and passive skills, which are the ones over here, is that active skills you actually have to activate and passive skills are just on all the time. Um, and like I said, I only have one passive skill activated right now because I am only level 13, but by the time you are leveled up all the way in this game, past level 30, you're going to be able to have three passive skills on at the same time. And it looks like uh, a couple of these, yeah, these two right here are actually capped uh, once you get 30, you unlock both of these. So I think 30 might be like the, the base high level for this game, but I don't think it's going to be the max level. I don't know if Diablo 3 is going to have a max level. I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but uh, we're just going to start from the top up here and go through each of the individual 16 passive skills for the Barbarian, and uh, we're going to talk about all of them, so let's do it. The first passive skill for the Barbarian is called Pound of Flesh. It increases the chance of finding a health globe by 25% and you gain 100% additional life from health globes. When the sky bleeds, the crops grow tall. When our enemies bleed, we grow strong. Chant of the Harvest. So basically you're going to have 25% increased chance of finding those little health globes, which are those little red orbs that creatures drop every now and then. And then when you do find them, you get 100% more life from them. So you'll get uh, double the life from health globes. Not really that useful for me because I like focusing on doing a shitload of damage. But uh, if you're finding yourself undergeared or needing more life, I guess that's kind of useful. Moving on to the second passive. This is the one that I've got on right now, and it's called Ruthless. Critical hit damage uh, increased by 50%, and the chance to critical hit increased by 5%. Many skills and runestone effects rely on critical hits to trigger their effects. The clans each paint their warriors in their own unique way. Some celebrate the mountain, others honor the fire, but the Targos clan worships the purifying virtue of pain. Sounds like some sort of dominatrix shit, but uh, basically this increases your chance to crit by 5%, and then when you do crit, your damage is increased by 50%. And uh, I like to focus on max damage, so that's what I'm using. Moving on to the third passive for the Barbarian, Nerves of Steel. Your defense is increased by 25% of your vitality. The trials begin with childhood. Skinning ferocious beasts, climbing windswept cliffs, and carrying weapons heavy enough to make a southern soldier weep. Is it any wonder that they never give ground? Sir Eric of Duncraig. They have some crazy names in this game, and I don't know why, but they just decide to put a quote underneath each individual passive skill. So I'm going to be reading all of those. But basically, that one, Nerves of Steel, your defense is increased by 25% of your vitality. Vitality is a stat in this game, and uh, if you're needing some more defense, I guess you could use that. But I prefer to go all-out damage. Moving on to the fourth passive skill for the Barbarian, we've got Weapons Master. Gain a bonus based on the weapon type of your main hand weapon. Swords and daggers, 10% increased damage. Maces and axes, 5% chance to critical hit. Pole arms and spears, 10% more attack speed. And mighty weapons, you get one fury per hit. My men ambushed the Traveler in the woods, but it was we who were surprised. Such keen senses, swift motions, flawless strikes. We never stood a chance. Red Jack the Bandit. 
Um, so, I mean, this, this basically changes up depending on what type of weapons you're using in your main hand. If you're using swords and daggers, you're going to have more damage, blah, 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 blah. I don't really see it being too useful. Um, compared to the crit damage, I don't know, I just really like to focus on the crit. I'm all about the crit, if you know what I'm sizzing. Uh, moving on to the fifth passive skill for the Barbarian, it's called Inspiring Presence. The duration of your shout is doubled, your shouts anyways, um, while benefiting from your war cry or battle rage you gen regenerate 2% of your maximum life per second. Your shouts are battle rage, threatening shout, and war cry. The enemy poured through the gap until War Master Kaja impaled three demons at once on our battle standard, getting a triple, and yelling out, Oh, almost got the quad, tossing their corpses onto the fray below as she roared a rallying call from high atop the battlements. The Battle of Starless Night. So basically, uh, this is if you're using shouts a lot. I don't really use the shouts on my Barbarian, but if you are using shouts, it'll make them last double the length that they normally would, and if you're using Warcry or Battle Rage, you'll get 2% maximum life per second. Um, once again, not something I would use, but uh, whatever. It's all good. Moving on to the sixth passive skill for the Barbarian, Berserker Rage. You inflict an additional 20% damage while at maximum fury. This is fucking badass. 20% more damage whenever you're at max fury. That is pretty useful, and the quote underneath says, You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Banner the Berserker, which is obviously a reference to Bruce Banner, a.k.a. the Incredible Hulk himself. So, uh, the developers over at Blizzard like to throw in comic book references, so that's pretty fucking sweet. Moving on to the seventh passive skill for the Barbarian, it's called Bloodthirst. Gain 3% of all damage done as life. Compassion is weakness. To press the advantage when an opponent calls for mercy is the way of true power. Halibird the Conqueror. So basically, uh, this one's pretty simple. It just gives you a 3% life steal for all damage done. Moving on to the eighth one, Animosity. Increases fury generation by 10% and maximum fury is increased by 20. Fury is used to fuel your most powerful attacks. While most orders teach the merits of calming the seas of the soul, the guardians of Arit have embraced the raging inner storm. Chronicler Arlavak. Damn. That's kind of a tongue twister, that's hard to say. Um, this one's pretty cool, fury generation increased by 20% or 10% and then your maximum fury goes up by 20. Fury is what you use to do your biggest attacks like Hammer of the Ancients and all your big, big boomers, so uh, having more fury could be pretty useful. Moving on to the ninth passive skill, Superstition. Reduces all non-physical damage by 20%. Whenever you take damage from a ranged or elemental attack, you have a chance to gain 3 fury. The sorcery of the West has brought us nothing but blight. Strength built these walls, and strength will hold them. Gruchak Hammerhand. So uh, whenever you take non-physical damage, um, it's reduced by 20%. So ranged and elemental magic type stuff, uh, you're going to take less damage. Pretty cool. And then uh, whenever you get hit by that type of stuff, you have a chance to get 3 Fury, which is uh, pretty useful as well. Moving on to the 10th passive. It's called Tough as Nails. Increases armor by 100%. Thorns damage dealt increased by 100%. After a while, the scars serve as their own layer of armor. Uh, you get this at level 22. It basically doubles your armor and doubles your thorns damage. So uh, it's kind of cool. Another defensive one. Probably wouldn't use it personally, but uh, if you want to be a defensive type barbarian. Um, you also have to play in the fact that a lot of these will be more geared towards PvP, like fighting other people, rather than fighting uh, uh, creatures and running dungeons and stuff. Um, so yeah, moving on to the 11th passive skill, No Escape. Increases the damage of Ancient Spear and Weapon Throw by 15%. In addition, a critical hit with Ancient Spear automatically resets the cooldown, and critical hits with Weapon Throw have a chance to return 20 Fury. Run if you must, but you'll only die tired, Uron goons. Um, this is pretty cool, because it uh, increases the damage of both of your ranged attacks as a Barbarian by 15%, and uh, if you crit with one Ancient Spear, it'll reset the cooldown, and if you crit with Weapon Throw, you have a chance to get back 20 Fury. So uh, it's kind of cool if you want to be kind of a ranged Barbarian, but I myself don't use Ancient Spear because I don't have it unlocked, and I don't use Weapon Throw just because I don't really like it. Uh, moving on to this one, Relentless. While below 20% life, all skills cost no fury and all damage taken is reduced by 50%. No matter the odds, some warriors simply refuse to fall. 
Uh, this is unlocked at level 25 and basically it kind of helps you out not to die. So when you're under uh, one-fifth of your life or 20% life, all skills cost no fury so you're just able to just go insane. You can just spam your abilities uh, and they'll all cost no fury and then all damage taken is cut in half. So pretty useful, pretty cool if you find yourself getting to under 20% life a lot, but personally I myself uh, don't ever fall under 20% life so not that useful for me. Moving on to the 13th passive skill for a Barbarian, it's called Brawler. As long as there are 5 enemies within 8 yards, all of your damage is increased by 30%. I have 2 blades, one for each of you, Blade Master Karn. Um, so as long as you have 5 enemies within 8 yards, you do 30% more damage. That's hella useful. Hella. I'm not from California, but I, I guess I can say hella. Um, basically, yeah, that would be really useful, especially if you find yourself always surrounded by enemies and always being up front. Uh, this game is meant to be played with a group, so definitely useful. I think Brawler is a, a pretty good one if you want to pump out more damage uh, every time you're surrounded by enemies. Moving on to our 14th passive skill, it's called Juggernaut. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. The duration of control impairing effects on you are reduced by 20%. In addition, whenever you become stunned, feared, or charmed, you have a chance to recover 15% of your maximum life. Pretty useful. I swear to you, we put a dozen arrows into him and he just stood back up. These so-called barbarians, these madmen of the north, there is no stopping them. Soldier of Bastion's Keep. Um, so basically every time you're crowd controlled you have a chance to recover 15% of your maximum life and the duration of control on all the crowd controls in this game are reduced by 20%. So it just makes you a juggernaut, makes you harder to slow down, fear, charm, whatever. I haven't ever been charmed in this game yet, I don't really know what that is, but uh, it's the basic crowd control of this game. Uh, moving on to our 15th passive skill, Unforgiving. You get this one at level 30. You no longer regenerate, no, you no longer degenerate fury. Instead, you gain one fury every two seconds. So normally, you degenerate fury, your fury stays all the way down if you're not fighting or doing anything. Uh, when you put on this passive, it makes it so you actually generate fury. You get one fury every two seconds. It was as if he suddenly came to know every grievous injury endured by his ancestors and had selected at that very moment to exact their collective revenge. Chronicler Arlovak. Once again, Chronicler Arlovak. I don't know why he's just the madman with the quotes. But uh, this one basically makes it so that Fury regenerates like mana or spirit or hatred uh, like on the other characters. Because usually Fury actually degenerates. It actually uh, goes down if you're not using it. So that's pretty useful. And moving on to our 16th and final passive skill for the Barbarian. It's called Boon of Bulkathos. The cooldown on your Earthquake, Call of the Ancients, and Wrath of the Berserker skill is reduced by 30 seconds. The aid of the Immortal King shall come to those who have earned it. Um, basically, Earthquake, Call of the Ancients, and Wrath of the Berserker are your three most powerful attacks as a Barbarian, and this uh, cuts the cooldown uh, down by 30 seconds. So I think normally they're two minute cooldowns, this would bring them down to a minute and a half, and like I said, they're, they're your most powerful shit as a Barbarian, so uh, those are really useful, that's probably another one that I would rock once I hit level 30, but guys, this has been Muzza Fuzza with my Barbarian Passive Skills Guide, if you like the video, drop me a like, maybe add to favorites, show your support on the video, I got a lot of Diablo 3 videos coming up shortly, and hopefully this game comes out soon so I can play the full game, because I've pretty much done everything you can do in the beta already, so uh, like I said, if you like the video, leave me a like, if you want to hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, the links to those are down below in the description of this video, and I will see you guys next time. Leap attack! Ground stomp! In your face!